everyone, my name is Queenie and today I'm bringing you the easiest and for sure the laziest way to make money in Palea, the auto farm. The Queenie auto farm, patent pending, will allow you to set and forget your crops and only needing to come back once in a while to harvest and reap the benefits. Literally, minimum effort for maximum gains. Well, actually, I'm sure there will be even more effective auto farm layouts in the future, but this is a really easy one to set up that anyone can do literally from day one because you can buy all the seeds necessary from Ziki and it scales really well at any size plot uh, with minor adjustments. So the reason I made this, apart from being incredibly lazy, is that I kept running into the issue of my farm not growing optimally because I can't stay online non-stop to water and weed it and thus making it feel like I have to babysit my farm a lot to get any value out of it. And that takes time away from my fishing and hunting, so we obviously can't have that. So to make sure I got the most out of my farm with the minimum amount of effort, I thought of a farm layout that would, in theory, take care of itself completely so I could, you know, walk my dog, eat, sleep and fish for 24 hours a day in Palea and not worry about whether or not I missed out on watering or weeding my farm on time. Et voila! The Queenie Auto Farm was born. This layout is designed to provide you with 100% water retention from tomatoes and potatoes, removing the need to water it completely apart from the first time it's planted and 100% weed repellent from onions and carrots so you also don't have to go around weeding your garden at all. I mixed in some rice and wheat for the harvest increase bonuses to get extra many crops for no other reason than I could. So I did. Now, the layout I'm using is designed for the maximum size garden, like the full nine plots in a basic square formation. However, you can adjust this to fit smaller plots too, but you probably have to skip some of the harvest boost crops because the primary goal here is minimum effort, right? So your water retention and weed prevention are your star players. So let's assume you are starting out with no seeds at all, meaning we have to go to Seeky's shop to acquire them. For the full plot, you will need 19 carrot seeds, 17 onion seeds, 15 potato seeds, 12 tomato seeds, nine wheat seeds and nine rice seeds. This will cost you a total of 2,617 Palea monies. Oof. Don't worry though, once you got everything set up and running, you will never need to buy seeds again, making this a one-time investment for infinite profit with the cunning use of seed makers. To be exact, the amount of infinite profit estimated is over 21,000 Paleo monies every 10 in-game days if you keep it seeded. And on average, you'll make over 2,000 Paleo monies per in-game day once the harvesting begins. And one paleo day is one real life hour, so you get money pretty fast since a lot of these crops are fast growers. So I mentioned seed makers before, these are absolutely vital in making this as profitable as possible long term, because you obviously do not want to have to spend thousands of monies buying seeds non-stop, although it's obviously totally up to you, your money, your problem, uh, but your total profit would just be lower if you did. So invest in making some seed makers as early as you can. I personally have three run running to save time, but even having one will save you some money early on, so make those a priority. After you start harvesting your first crops, try to not sell all of them immediately, especially the star quality crops, even if it is tempting since they sell for so much more. I would highly recommend that you save as many of the star quality crops as you can at the start, so you can chuck them in the seed makers, because if you use star quality crops, you get star quality seeds, which down the line will lead to higher amounts of star quality crops in total, which will then lead to more money. So basically, always keep enough star quality crops in your inventory specifically for the seed makers and then go ham on selling the rest. Oh, and if you want to be like extra efficient in getting as much star quality crops as possible, you can use some quality up fertilizer. I did discover on accident that you can actually stack fertilizers of the same kind for multiple growth cycles by simply clicking the same crop where the fertilizer selected multiple times. Now, I'm not sure if this is a bug or not, but I hope not, as this is another neat way to streamline the farming process by not having to run back every day to replenish the fertilizers. So, since the potatoes is the slowest growing crop in this layout of five paleo days, stacking fertilizer at least five times should be enough to get the max quality boost possible throughout the growth cycles and then rinse and repeat when you replant the potatoes, assuming you have enough fertilizers to keep doing it. Or if you have endless fertilizer, feel free to stack however much you see fit. 
you know, fertilize to taste. <laughs> Farming efficiently does take a little bit of setup time if you want to be as cost efficient as possible. But once you've got it all running like a well-oiled machine, you can literally plant water and forget about it and just come back every once in a while for the juicy harvest. Anyways, guys, I hope this auto farm helps you make some extra easy coin. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer ASAP. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.